Hey guys, welcome back to the Sweat Elite Trainings YouTube channel. This is Matt, the founder at Sweat Elite, and greetings from Boulder, Colorado, where I'm currently on a content trip, joining some professional runners and triathletes that will be showcased on videos in the very near future on the channel. But this particular episode is a workout I joined of Goethe Stein a few weeks ago now in United Arab Emirates. Goethe Stein is the national record holder for the marathon in South Africa. She ran 224 at last year's Valencia Marathon. She's also the comrade's record holder for the downhill section that happens every second year. And she is preparing for the Two Oceans Marathon taking place next weekend. And she's actually already won the event four times. So she's going for a fifth attempt at winning the Two Oceans Marathon. It was such an honor to join Goda. She is such a hero, not only in Dubai, where she's currently based, but of course in South Africa, where she's originally from. And this was a really difficult, challenging long run that she allowed me to join her on. About an hour and a half, sort of southwest of her home, in the United Arab Emirates. Goethe is based in Dubai, which is where she normally trains, but Dubai is very, very flat, so she wasn't really able to find anywhere, or if you are based in Dubai, it's very difficult to find anywhere with some hills. So about an hour and a half south of Dubai is where the hills are, which is where we headed out to shoot this video. It's worth noting that this video is actually shot on my mobile phone. I took this video on my iPhone 14 Pro because I didn't have my camera with me at the time. So do excuse the audio a little bit in this video. I feel like the visuals are pretty similar to the camera I normally use, but the audio doesn't have the same standard of microphone. So there is a little bit of wind noise in this one. So I do apologize for that. Before I transition over to the video that I shot with Goethe Stein, just a couple of quick updates. Sweat Elite has just recently launched the Shareholders Club, where you can join us to access much more content than you can for free. We do more podcast episodes. We have plenty of articles. In fact, over 450 articles all about elite distance running training that we've researched over the last six years. You can access that by hitting the link in the description of this video, or you'll find it in the top corner right now. Please do check that out. We greatly appreciate our shareholders. They actually really help continue allow us to continue to bring content to the channel and to the podcast and to the website. So we really appreciate you guys. Lastly, the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy is growing very, very quickly. We've passed 100 members and we have plenty of new perks coming in the very near future. People that sign up now score a welcome package full of HVMN Ketone IQ, Pillar Performance, Triple Magnesium, Precision Fuel and Hydration Gels and Drink Mix, and a Sweat Elite Training Session Singlet. Do go and check out the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy if you're interested in a professional coach and joining a really strong community of distance runners online as we communicate over on a Discord channel every day about everything to do with training. So do check out the Sweat Elite Coaching Academy if you are interested in having more guidance with your training. So that's enough from me in this intro. I hope that you enjoy this long run with Gerda Stein. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to the shop and then turn right, Death Valley. So what I think you should do is just jog to the warm-up. Gerda, thanks for having me at your workout this morning. Uh, we're out here, well, where are we exactly? We're about an hour and a half out of Dubai. This is a place that you run regularly. How's yeah. things going? And let's hear a little bit about the workout today. Yeah, good morning. Um, we're here, the area is called Hatta. It's about an hour and a half drive, like you say, out of Dubai. And um, it's really mountainous. So the roads are also really quiet. So I really love coming here for workouts, especially at the moment, um, because I'm training for the Two Oceans Ultra Marathon and it's very hilly. So it's really necessary for me to get into the hills quite early on. Um, the rest of Dubai is super, super flat. Mm. So it is quite... Uh, it's necessary. really, really flat. It's yeah, very it's hard really to find even a hill. So how long have we got until Two Oceans? It's about 10 weeks now to yep. Two Oceans. So I've really only just started with the specific training towards Two Oceans. So That's because um, you ran pretty quick in December. Yes, yes. Plenty yes, of people will probably know, but how did that go? Um, really well. I ran yep. the Valencia Marathon in the beginning of December. and super um, happy with the results. I managed to um, break my own PB and my South African national record. 224.0 something? 224.03. Oh, Don't remind me of the three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the biggest uh, box tick was to qualify for the Olympics. Perfect. Sounds good. So you've had how many recovery weeks and you recently ran a half? I was just bridging the gap between that and now. Yeah. So. Um, after the Valencia Marathon for the rest of December, I sort of just took it easy, mm -hmm. just uh, let the body recover naturally. And then um, since January, I started to ramp up the training again and 
Ach, I was doing loads of local races almost every week in January. I was just doing, um, you know, jumping into the races just for fun, really not so focused on it, mm -hmm. but just to have some targets and to get myself ready again for what's to come. Sure. So 10 weeks, things are getting pretty serious. Uh, what's on the plan today? And then I guess through the workout, we'll talk a bit about what's coming up. But what have we got today? Yeah, so today I've got a long run planned here in the mountains. Um, it's going to be 36 kilometers. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to run it all at a sort of a steady pace. Obviously with the hills, it's going to be slower up hills and faster down the hills. But in terms of a structured workout, I haven't got anything planned for today mm -hmm. because it's, like I say, it's naturally going to be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, harder. The hills will make it hard. Yeah. Correct. So yeah. also for um, the longer distances, like for the two oceans marathon, I tend not to do too much structure in my long runs. I just do it for time on the legs and then in the week do more structured workouts. Perfect. Sounds good. Looking forward to joining. Last question. What shoes are you going with in a run like this? What are your favorite Adidas shoes? You're an Adidas athlete? Uh, yes. Yep. I'm Got the so the glides on at the moment, but I'll change over to Pro 3. Um, I love both, uh, I do long runs in both of them, but today I'll run in the Pro 3 just for some extra bounds. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, we can get started. Cool. Okay, we're about to get started. So good, I just learned you're a Garmin athlete as well, same as me. What are you using at the moment and uh, what do you like about it? Yes, that's correct. Um, as of this year, I joined the Garmin team. Nice. So very exciting. Um, at the moment, I'm using the 965. Oh, same. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome watch. Um, I used to use it way back in the past, so um, I'm quite familiar with the features, but I'm still getting to know all the updates. The maps are amazing. Um, mm. All sorts of new gadgets that I'm still learning, so it's very exciting. Have you been tracking your sleep yet or are you saving that for later no i have been tracking my sleep i mean it's still early i think it told me to keep it keep wearing it for a month yep. or something and um i've been very interested in the hrv so i want to study that a little bit more because my previous watch didn't measure that if i didn't wear a heart rate strap yeah Whereas sure this one's, i can see it's measuring it so yeah very cool exciting. cool thanks for sharing all right let's uh, let's get started let's go <laughs> Warmed up all, all right. Okay. Ready? See you later. I'll have some things off already. 36k starts here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just a little jog warm yeah, beforehand. Just warm up. On the yeah. highway is also nice and nice stout. Yeah. Nice empty ride. Okay, see you later. Okay. Next hill is Heartbreak Hill. Yeah, next one is Heartbreak Hill. And then it's Jenner Hill. Oh wow, so you've got all the names for the hills. Yeah. So why is Heartbreak Hill Heartbreak Hill? Is that just obvious? For all obvious reasons. It's just, it's just really hard. It's just right at the end, it's really tough. Okay. At the end of the run, finishing line. At the end of the hill, there's literally a Jenner at the top. Oh, okay, right. Nice. Do you know roughly how much, how much elevation gain is in this run? Okay, that's pretty hilly, yeah. Okay, we're not allowed to ask her any questions right now. It's uh, way too steep. <laughs> it's hard to tell how steep this is on the camera, but it's yeah. it's a, probably a good 7%, I reckon. Omar, yeah? The stay in so, Gota, what shoe would you... Uh, what Actually, what shoe did you race Valencia in? Uh, also Pro 3s. Really love them. Yeah? Um, the Adios Pro 3? Yes, yeah. yeah, I'm a fan of them too. Um, I love the uh, Adios and Zero for climbing, especially the lightest ride. Yeah. Um, as well as the Silent Ride. I do a lot of easy miles in the Silent Ride. And the Boston 12 is amazing. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, Rain just started using that. Oh, love them. Yeah? You're a fan yeah, too? Absolutely. Loves the Boston 12. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, a bit bigger. Yeah. But they are incredible. Oh, yeah. That's good to know. I'm racing in them next month. <laughs> Reem's allowed to race in the Primax. <laughs> Reem's gonna, Reem's gonna run a Boston qualify with the cheating shoe. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Reem. Oh, that's Go Tyler! Starting on hills. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that bar zone. I know. Forgot that about the like, hills. I'm okay, fine now. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Are you going to go 10 out, 10 back? Or are you going to exactly. keep going? I'm going to go 10 out, 10 back. Okay. To kind of finish at the same time. You were saying before off camera that it's pretty much a perfect day for what you're used to in UAE. It's pretty tough. Pretty tough. Uh, Heat days you got to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, it gets insanely hot here in the summer months. Um, I tend to just sort of go away, go to train in South Africa or in Europe yeah. in the summer months because it's really brutal. <laughs> I'm not joking, um, but it's winter at the moment, so just making the best of it. Um, it's, it's ideal for running. I think when we set off, it was 20 degrees Celsius and it's overcast, so no no complaints and then in two weeks time i'll head to johannesburg and finish the rest of my preparation out there and um, mainly just it's a nice altitude it's 1600 meter altitude in Joburg, and also very very hilly you can't really escape the hills there perfect so it's perfect yeah i've done it every year so yeah. following the same recipe and Johannesburg is at uh, 1,800 meters altitude, or yeah, it's about 1,600. 1,600. Meters, yep. But I often train at sort of 18. Yep. Um. So yeah, for me, that's an ideal altitude. Uh, I feel I can still get a lot of quality at that height. Yep. It's not too severe. Nice. Where's the gel? In that Pantone, guys. Do you want to run on the right? Here you go. Strava, guys. Are we going? There's rumors in the car that we're going for Strava segments. Is this true? Okay. Are we going for Strava segments today? Oh, yes. oh okay. <laughs> I should have asked about that earlier. That's 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 an important feature of the run. Uh, this one, we finish. We won't finish where we started. I want to finish up a really steep hill. It's like a down wall, and there's a good segment there that I've had my eye on. Oh, you don't you don't currently you're not at the currently at the top of the of the segment. You're not the leader? Oh, okay. We'll have a look. We'll have a look afterwards, maybe. Even if I have, I'm sure I can beat it because it would have been from many years ago. Okay, well, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, Here we go. We, we have a training partner. Come, come. Come, We only have 20, 27k to go. Yes. What do you
26 k, you good for that? 26 you know, oh, oh, nice. He's streaming it at the same time. What a legend. <laughs> I wonder if he knows he's going on YouTube. Yeah. I don't think he knows. He lasted about 500 meters, I think. It's a good effort. When it comes to two oceans, do you have a I mean, it's, well, you've won it already many times. So, do you have um, do you have a race plan for the nutrition for a race of 56 kilometers, or do you sort of just take on board whenever you feel like it? How do you approach the? I mean, you must have had a lot of trial and error too. I have, yeah. Um, I have had a lot of trial and error. Maybe uh, a good place to start. Uh, I started running just socially. Um, I moved to the UAE. Um, for my job, I was just working as a quantity surveyor back in 2014 and I wasn't running much at the time, maybe 5k every now and then. And then um, I moved here and got into running in a big way, um, just with friends and um, immediately sort of into the long distance stuff that I really, really loved. So even back in those days, I really learned a lot about the nutrition and especially on the ultras because often there you're sort of more close to your own you need to even really make plans you know mm. you have to have either support on the route or carry a lot of stuff with you and um, I think even now I still use what I learned there of course now I get more support and the Adidas runners for instance in Cape Town um, always help me on the day on race day so it's a very similar thing to the sort of city marathons for me personally I'm um, getting my bottle just every five or six k's in the race mm. my own personal made a bottle again just with a gel stuck on the side and um, I put more a bit more I make more of an energy sort of more calorie rich drink as well on race days as opposed to just water that I'm having now yep and then also just a gel so yep. quite similar to to the marathons um, and yeah, I've had some not good experiences and other really good experiences. So constantly learning, I guess. Yeah. But I've got I've got a plan sorted. So okay. That's really nice. Do you think about it in a grams per hour context or or not really? Like of grams of carbs. I'll be honest, I'm not so technical about it. Yep. Well, that's probably a good um, thing. Yeah. I just uh, I know if I get it sort of every five k to yep. twenty five minutes. Um, yeah. Let's say between 15 and 25 minutes yep. I'm super happy so yes. okay. I don't I feel like I've got quite a strong gut which I'm very fortunate with yeah that's helpful so, for the longer distances yeah, yeah, for for sure. Sure, especially for the longer stuff it's, yeah. it's very helpful and also the intensity is slightly lower of course you're on the road for much longer than a marathon but the intensity is a bit lower so there's a bit more room for you know yep. wiggle room I'd say yeah sure yeah. So Gerda, I'll uh, ask another question while you got a long downhill stretch. Okay. What does this look like in terms of your overall training week? 36k, what's your sort of overall volume? Do you count it? What does it look like as a total bigger picture? I do, yes, I do count it. Um, I like to do, when I'm running 24 a marathon, I like to do my big weeks between 
170 and 190. I feel like that's a nice sweet spot for me. But that's at my peak weeks, maybe four weeks at that volume. And then the sort of weeks around it, around 150. I think this week will be around 150 and um, 160 maybe. So I also do a bit of cross training to uh, in addition to that. So I feel like with the cross training and the fairly high mileage is a good balance for me. <laughs> So yeah, that's how I've always done it. And um, what's your preferred cross training? Cross training, uh, biking, cycling. Oh, yeah, that's so, outside or? In the... Yeah, um, both. If I have <laughs> access to facilities and all that, then outside for sure. We were out on the bikes yesterday, actually. Nice. And then, um, otherwise, I'll oh, I don't mind the watt bike. I'll go indoors as well. Yeah. Trainer. So. Okay. Either, yeah. Then in the mountains, I go hiking. Um, anything really. To just keep moving. So. I think I always think the balance between the two was around 180 day um, running running kilometers is perfect for me. Okay. When you're in those super high mileage weeks, do you still cross train? Less, 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 less yeah. cross training then. But I still try to do something, you know. Yeah. So yeah, but I coach myself, myself and Duncan. We we just self coached. Yeah. So it's just I just the cross training. I don't put a program for that. I just go on how I feel. Right. If I feel I can, I've got a little bit more, I just go, or I need a bit more recovery, I skip it. So, but the, the running program is uh, strict. Sure. <laughs> so, that's how I plan it. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Expecting something different. So, we're on the topic of diet now. I heard when you went, when you won Comrades one year, there was, it was, everyone was saying it was the pre-race meal that was the thing that did it. Is that right? Um, oh, sorry, you're up a hill here. Are you going to be all right? The pre-race meal. I don't know now. Hang on. What was that? The pre they have, what do you have for breakfast? Oats. Oh. They're all disappointed yes. about it. So, I just find it, always find it really funny because before uh, I was an athlete, I didn't ever think that my breakfast would be a point of interest for anyone <laughs> and then when I started doing well in the races and especially after winning comrades I found it really interesting because everyone was always asking me what do you have for breakfast it's because it's that's, like, that's the thing that makes you win the race isn't it as if it is that thing that makes you win the race yeah <laughs> and then I always feel really bad because it's just boring oats yeah I always feel like I should have this really interesting answer <laughs> you should then, tell them you have like a t-bone steak with like a mushroom yeah, sauce and yeah it sounds like a really creamy sauce or something yeah so but yeah okay all trusted oats just oats and water that's all you need to win the car right wow <laughs> that's like 50 cents too 221 222 if she gets it right hmm. that's probably she's not she hasn't got the wheels for sort of 220 but I think 221, 222, she could stop me in other places. <laughs> Stinging that tire. I can see your heart rate now. Can you see it now? What? What's that? Oh, you're synced. Yeah. So I don't know this was an option. What is the heart rate? Just up there, it's 156 there. 156. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's steep. Do you think much about your heart rate during the runs? Do you look at it much? Do you pay much attention to it? Not during the run, but afterwards. I love to look at it. I love to analyze and compare. But I never, I can say, never really during my run. No. Do I look at it or run to it? So you don't make decisions in the run based on heart rate? Not in the moment, no. Right. Yeah. But afterwards, I look at it to make sure that, you know, it was right. And, and compared to where I was, um, on a race, I'm always sort of <laughs> in between two minds whether to wear it or not, um, whether it's going to be restrictive or not. But I have worn it in some races, but normally my boat goes to not wearing it. Yep. And then just going, like not thinking about it. I think not, I think not thinking about it in a race is, is a key to is a key to a good yeah. good result. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But in your case, you're normally trying to win or or, or beat or you know be in the top few, so. Your focus is probably more on, on the placing. Yeah, but, but in a, yeah, it is different. It's a combination still. 
I mean, even when depends I, on the race a bit, I guess. Too. When I run the long, really long ones, I still work out a race plan and try and stick to it. And if there's a large gap between myself and the ladies behind me, then I still stick to my plan. So yep. I don't try to just focus on on winning. I still want to run good times. So yeah, it's a combination. But uh, in the marathons, it's normally just like run that pace, <laughs> whatever it takes. <laughs> Run for time. <laughs> we're going back there, and then we're heading through um, Hatter up to the up to the dam. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're finishing up at the dam. Break hill behind us? Behind us. Okay, good. Done. My goodness. Now we've got... I lost track of the hill names, there was too many of them. Yes, there's so many. It's just up and down all the time. We'll finish on a really nice spot, you like it. Where's this segment? Yeah, no, not yet. Okay. Right. Last one. Nice one. Can't get down here. I'll turn at the bottom. Turn it down. That was so nice. What a way to finish 37k. Yeah, 37? 37, yeah, a bit longer than I planned, but no, no problems, no, no complaints on oh. Thursday. Yeah, it's gone really well. Exactly to plan really. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, oops. That wasn't what I was meant to do. This is the... Uh, we, got the we got the splits for all yeah. the... Yeah. Let's have a look. Yeah. 37.4k. Nice. 405. Exactly what I planned. That's good going. Can you yeah. check elevation yeah. on that one? Let's see. All starts, I guess. Six, eight, eight, five. Nice. That's huge. Yeah, that was good. We'll see if I elevate correct. Maybe it will give me up to 700. <laughs> <laughs> uh, benefit of the doubt. But it went really well. Felt good Looked like way. it went very well, yeah, from it's the always, car. Yeah, yeah. We'll head off the way. Do you log on Strava? I do. Yep. Yeah. Right, yeah. We'll find you on there. Yeah, for yep. Valencia Marathon, I opened all my training. 12 weeks of every single workout nice. I did. Nice. I'll go check that out. Um, since then and before then, every now and then. Like mm. nice interesting ones I have. So not every single thing, but yeah, yeah. the good ones I have. Okay. <laughs> nice. Well thanks for letting us join. That was a really good workout to film. Thank you for joining. It made it much more sociable and yeah. uh, when the problem just went by so quickly. Yep. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the scenery as well. It's not oh, it was stunning. It's not yeah. a lot of people on this world that can say that we do why that and Balaya and whatever the little villages is that we're out to be but that we